We are on our way right now to Guitar Center. So we have this guitar. What is it called? Does it have like a name? It's the Epiphone Les Paul Prophecy. We're actually going to go to Guitar Center today. Um, they're having like a big Labor Day sale sort of thing. So Blake's gonna see if he can trade it in and maybe get an acoustic guitar. So last night, me and Blake had a little bit of a date night. Where did we go? Cheesecake Factory. Cheesecake Factory, and Blake got some spaghetti carbonara? Pasta, yeah. Pasta carbonara. Okay, okay, just like let it, it's low heat, right? Like you want it as probably about as low as it'll go because oh, okay. you'll burn it otherwise. So, so Blake's gonna eat his spaghetti, and I'm actually gonna go exploring a little bit because uh, I just kind of want to get out of the house. See Las Vegas a little bit, and just kind of go on a little little ex exploration journey thing. Are you just dipping the bread in butter and eating it? Mm -hmm. Is it good? Oh, that weird. I mean, it's a little weird, but at the same time, it wouldn't be weird if you spread the butter over it. So. But it's like the same thing, so I think it's only weird because that's what I've never done. She wants the bread really bad. Later tonight, Blake, what are you doing? You have something going on? My friends are just getting together and... Playing magic. The playing magic. What? <laughs> I really wanted to go skating today, but Blake was like, nah. He doesn't like doing things that he might not be good at the first time he does it. <laughs> I think that's a pretty good way of explaining things. Like I gave him so many options this morning. I walked into the room and I was like, what do you want to do today? We could go ice skating, we could go rollerblading, we could go mountain, not mountain climbing, uh, rock climbing, rock climbing, yeah. rock climbing. We could go trampoline jumping, like, you know, like trampoline world and crap like that. And he's like, nah. <laughs> All of those things were like, nah. You're just not really a fan of doing things you might not be good at the first it. time? I just know that. If we went rock climbing and I got hurt, I would be fucked. <laughs> Why? Because I didn't sign anything saying I was going to do that this weekend. Is rock it's climbing high really? Risk activity, yeah. Okay, what is the line with something that's a high risk activity and not? Something that you're going out for, like, you could, like, break really, a leg. Really hurt yourself, yeah. That's like everything fun though. That's like life. Well, Every time you get in the car, it could be a high risk activity. Okay, yeah, but that's part of your job. That's part of life. Well, I mean, yeah. Rock climbing, I'm sure ice skating might be on there. Maybe. Trampoline world? Uh, it is a calf day. No. Shoot, nice you almost try. got that bread. Nice try, <laughs> you silly girl. Nice try. Just let go of me. Stop. Stop. We could go look at puppies at the puppy shelter. Oh. Did you say puppy? <laughs> we paid rent! Hooray! Uh, yeah. So, I got an email this morning from Credit Karma. Yeah. Saying like, because I, I tried to like sign up on there and it wouldn't it wouldn't let me because we didn't have enough history. I got an email saying like, hey, we can we have access to your stuff now, like your credit stuff. You can sign up with Your us. credit report it's exists! Like 706 on there. What? For TransUnion and like, so, some other ones, where it was like six ninety something. I'm like, how is that possible? Yeah. How is it? Wait, wait, wait. But we just got the credit. We haven't even paid a statement yet. Like, how does that even make it's sense? Showing up on there and everything. A seven oh six. That's yeah. like good. Like, That's, isn't the max like nine hundred and like excellent is considered like eight forty or something? <laughs> like, that's like actually really. Yeah. Good. So I don't know. Ah uh, well. Let's not, no, let's just ignore it no, until we pay our first statement and then we can that's look. That's why I was like, that's, that's weird because yeah. the mint one says like 598. It's not gonna update for another two months. You're not supposed to also have, like use more than 30% of your credit limit? Credit utilization ratio. Credit utilization ratio should be under 30%. Yeah, it's not like if you're like 35%, it's like, oh, that's bad. For us, cause we have the secured credit card and it's like our first credit card, our we it's like a five hundred dollar credit limit, right? Mm -hmm. So with a five hundred dollar credit limit, that's like thirty percent of that is like one fifty. One fifty. So 
how it's working is we're trying not to spend more than $150 on our credit card because that would be going over well, no. that would be going over $500 or um, five, 30% of our $500. But what you can do is you can pay more than that as long as you pay it down, right? Basically the way it works is like, um, we could go and buy a TV. Yeah, we could buy a $500 TV, max out the card. And then come home, pay the card down to where it only, it only shows that there's a $150 balance on there. Right. And don't touch it for the rest of the month. And then when the statement comes, it'll say, oh, you only owe 150 or you've only used 150 of your right. 500 limit. That's 30% right. Yeah, that's, so something, do that. yeah, that's something I didn't know about credit cards originally. I thought that it was one of those things where... Yeah you'd get your statement and that's how much you'd owe for like that month or whatever. I didn't know you could log on and pay the balance down. Like I didn't know you could just go on there and pay it off like however much you want, like whenever you want. Anyway, I'm gonna go explore. Blake's gonna eat his pasta and play some games. Are you playing WoW right now? Yeah. Are you winning? You always ask that. I, don't I know. Why. Because I don't like games where you can't win. I was looking on Steam last night trying to find a game that I could play. I think I do like Darkwood. Like that one yeah. game that looks like kind of scary, but. Okay. I don't know. I'll talk to you guys about games in a little bit. I'm gonna go explore. Las Vegas is one of those funny cities that is so planned. Like it's such a planned city. All of the houses are in a very specific spot. All of the roads are placed in a very specific way. And when you get out of that, it's nothingness. I am coming to the end of the road right here and I just wanted to I love like, I don't know, I just love getting out to the end. Like it just, there's just nothingness. Road closed 250 feet. One of the reasons why I drove out here is because it looks like you can just like reach up and touch the mountains, which I think is just so, so, so cool. So I'm just kind of walking down this road right now. Bushes, pine needles and everything, which might be a silly thing to be excited about, but the fact that God, there's birds coming out of it. Oh my God, that scared me. You know, everything else in Las Vegas is just dirt and rocks. Sometimes it's fun to just kind of get past that and see bushes and pine needles and something. Maybe we'll drive up to like Mount Charleston or something tomorrow. Except up there, there's like houses and stuff. I'm not really sure what's up there. So we just got out of the movies. We went and saw Let's Be Cops, which is like a comedy about two dudes who decide to be cops. Like they, okay. it was, wow. well, that's pretty much what it was. I mean, let's be real. It was really funny. It was a lot funnier than I thought it would be. Yeah, it was funny. So I actually bought Darkwood, which is that game that I was contemplating buying and then I bought it. It was $15 and it's a little bit scarier now that I actually have yeah. to play it and it's not yeah. somebody else on YouTube I'm watching playing it. So, no, I mean, I, eh. I just have to get into it a little bit more, I guess. Yeah. Are you playing WoW? Yeah. Love it on my road. It's so boring. <laughs> I think it's boring. Sure. Okay. What are we gonna do tomorrow? Are we gonna go to Charleston? Not Charleston? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. So we're in the store right now and we are starting to broaden our booze horizons. Blake is actually looking for stones. Cause you know you can get like little rocks that you can freeze and like throw them in a glass and that way it doesn't water down your drink. He wants one of those. I'm looking at wine glasses because I'm gonna I'm gonna be a wine drinker. I have decided. I just don't even know really where to start. So I have some wine glasses in my hand right now, and we're gonna go get some wine. There's like a whole wall of wine, and I'm like, whoa, we're gonna see. I don't know how to start, but you gotta start somewhere, I guess. <laughs> whoa! We are back. These are the wine glasses we ended up getting, and I think they're really classy looking. And we also. <laughs> Uh, they sell tiny things of wine <laughs> at the store. So I got some Cabernet. I literally got, I was like, I don't know what kind to get. So I just got lots of different kinds. So we have Cabernet, we have a uh, white Zinfandel, a Chardonnay, and a Moscato. I also got a big thing of, woo, Risada Moscato Dusty. Oh, can you even see that? There we go. Blake, do you want to describe your picks for beer? I know that you got some beer. What kinds did you get? What uh, kind did you end up getting? Newcastle Werewolf. 
Why? I don't know. And I got tap room number 21 Amber Ale. I've never heard of this one. Where is this? <laughs> Rochester, New York. Oh, cool. Is that oh, the one you're gonna try? Sorry. You got bonked on the nose. Yeah. Mm. Is it good? Yeah. Gosh, you know, beers all taste the same to me at the very beginning of the flavor, but then they all fizzle out to their own little different tastes. And this one tastes kind of... I think I need to take another bottle for experimenting. Go, 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 go. Like it tastes almost sour, kind of. It's got honey. Ale. That's why it's ale with honey. The oh. other one, the copper one, I was looking at the copper one, it's just beer with honey. So What's the difference? And, I don't know what the difference is between ale and beer. Maybe we can Google that. Bale. We can learn something. Let's let's Google the difference. Ale and beer. What's the difference? Ale is brewed with top fermenting yeast and lager with bottom fermenting yeast. The difference between beer and ale has to do with the way in which it is brewed and how the yeast ferments. Ale is fermented at a higher temperature and matures quickly as a result. This is the Risada Moscato Dasti, product of Italy. And it's really pretty. Look at how pretty this wine is. You've got 54 points so far. It tastes like apple juice. It kind of does, yeah, with a dry finish. Yeah, you're supposed to you're supposed to breathe it in as you're drinking it. Sorry. <laughs> I think it's good. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna drink way a lot of that. <laughs> I'm gonna drink way, whoa, too much. <laughs> just, you haven't even drank what's in there yet. Well, the cork's off of it. Like, how am I supposed to, what do we do with the cork now? Like, how are we supposed oh, to preserve this? Oh, we have to I know, that's why I have to drink it all tonight. We are on our way right now to Guitar Center and Blake, Blake, he's up the stairs actually. He's getting a few guitar picks, but he's an avid guitar player. I don't know. So we have this guitar. What is it called? Does it have like a name? It's the Epiphone Les Paul Prophecy. Wow. Custom. Well, it's really, really nice. Yeah, it is really nice. And I... Uh, what? There's like... It's just weird when I play it. Maybe it... I don't know. It's always been kind of weird. Like in like an uncomfortable sort of way? Not or? uncomfortable. It's like one of, like the G string. Mm -hmm. Every It seems like with all the guitars I've had, all, the G string always like goes kind of out of tune when you bend it, mm -hmm. which I don't like. We're actually going to go to Guitar Center today. Um, they're having like a big Labor Day sale sort of thing. So Blake's gonna see if he can trade it in and maybe get an acoustic guitar. So that's the plan as it sounds for right now. We're not really sure if we're gonna walk out with a guitar today. I think Blake is hoping that, but it depends on how much we get back for this guitar, so. <laughs> I really like that one. Sounds so good. So Blake just got a new baby. So tell us about your new guitar. Well, it's a seagull. It's a seagull squawk, squawk, squawk. made in Quebec. 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 Play a little jam. I want to hear. Play a jam. Play a little jam. <gasps> oh, so good, so beautiful, such beauty. That was a good choice, though. I really like it. Rock out. Yeah! <laughs> Woo! 
So we're walking down. To what? Caesar salad from last night. I know. I'm gonna probably eat that. You can have some too. You want? So we're walking down the stairs right now. We are going to get something to eat. Then we may go to Mount Charleston, hopefully. But we didn't end up going yesterday, which is kind of what I wanted to do, but our friends invited us out to dinner, so we did that instead. So now we're just kind of taking it easy. I'm almost done editing the vlog. Bacon. So you want bacon? Yeah, bacon. We can make bacon. So uh, we're gonna end it right here. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already, because we put out videos. Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 5, five o'clock Pacific time. So we will see you guys on Wednesday. Bye. Bye.